Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe. No fucking way. Swallow me whole, huh? This is Gondor One. The President's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. I'm seeing increased movement from Los Illuminados. Don't get careless. Copy. Ada out. What terrible actions will be done in its name? And who will pay its dark cost? Find Lewis. Fetch me the Amber. Have you changed, Ada? Or are you just trying to use me again? Because in this world, someone always pays. There's someone who needs me. Best not to ask who or why. It's what I researched for all these years, Ada. And I see the symptoms already showing in your eyes.
metrics indicate that you are supremely talented hunters. You must hunt a terrifying monster known as the King of the Skies. Work together and hunt as a team. Good luck. Let's see how special you are.
time to bring it to an end. Execution is also ready.
everyone, I'm Hideaki Itsuno, the director of Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm the producer, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a narrative-driven action RPG set in an immersive fantasy world designed to place player choice at the heart of the gameplay experience. Today, we'll present you with the latest news on Dragon's Dogma 2. First, check this out. At last! The bell has tolled on the age of the console. The return of the Sovereign. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. Learn all you can of this world you must protect. We ask that all be spared the horrors of the fell dragon. From this moment forth, thou art arisen. Here's my chance. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here? When it was all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. Pitiable Arisen. Why dost thou fight? Arisen. Believe in your own destiny, Arisa. Show me the path thou wouldst walk. If ye intend to do what I could not, and fell the dragon true. I would gladly pass all to the wisdom I possess into your hands. How was that? We're excited to finally be able to reveal the release date for Dragon's Dogma 2. First, let's go over what you just saw. Emerging suddenly from the sea, we meet the giant Talos, who appears for the first time in this game, and who you will have to figure out how to stop. We've prepared some additional gameplay footage of Talos, so take a look. I cannot but fear it will bring ruin wherever it treads. We shall halt it together. It seems to me there are plenty of places our feet might find purchase on its hulking frame. Let us do whatever we can to slow it down. It might prove futile, but it is better than watching on in despair. A puppet with a penchant for destruction is a nuisance nobody asked for. Let us be rid of it. Indeed. And where is it bound, I wonder? Left unhindered, it will trample the world entire, but not on our watch. Let us attack with the full sum of our strength. We must try to delay its course, by any means! As you can see, you'll be able to enjoy a variety of combat experiences depending on how you choose to tackle each situation. 
Keep your eyes peeled for more on Talos and its role. Dragon's Dogma is a tale of the Arisen, whose heart is taken by the dragon. While this sequel mirrors the world setting of the first game, the adventure takes place in a parallel world. Vermond is the human kingdom, where you will be drawn into the power struggle for the throne. To have her son take the throne, the Queen Regent Disa plots to set a false arisen. But why are pawns serving a false arisen? On the other hand, the Bistran nation of Batal treats pawns as the source of misfortune and instead worship the lambent flame to ward off calamity with Empress Nadinia at its center. Both kingdoms recognize the dragon as a threat. But their thoughts towards pawns and the Arisen differ. What will happen to the player caught between the beliefs and plots of these two nations? You can learn more about some of the game's intriguing characters on our official website. So, check it out. In addition to the main quest line, you can talk to the inhabitants of this world to receive various quests and deepen your relationship with them. For instance, let's look at this quest where you need to befriend some elven siblings. But Alakalwa shall know their issue than no adversary. Ah, forgive me. You do not speak our tongue, do you? From this moment forth, so long as you remain by my side, I shall interpret for you. Nenwen mor Iwanon. Alkarwa fir nun eldaya menelume sur karil. Martyr fa nun fionor minas vena eralote. My friend, if e'er I have had need to call upon your aid, tis now. I beg of you to join me in my sister's rescue. Master, watch out! This battle is ours! Tis e'en more nightmarish a sight than I had feared. My father battles the ogre while my sister is clutched in its fist. But there is still hope, if I act quickly. Listen well, friend. I shall strike the beast's arm while my father holds its attention. This is as much as I can show you for today. Hopefully, you'll find the rest of the quest on your own. In the footage, you can see the Sacred Arbor, which is an elf settlement. The elves there communicate in their own language. And while the Arisen doesn't understand the language of the elves, if there's a pawn nearby who does, they will automatically translate it for you. These specializations that pawns can acquire will make each of them more unique and hopefully more enjoyable to journey with. I'll see to it your burdens are shared between us pawns. It's not only the pawn's personality that reflects the player. Just like in the first game, the player can freely create the Arisen and the main pawn. However, we've used photogrammetry technology to increase photorealism, while adding a way to simplify the process of creating characters. Selecting images that resemble the kind of look you have in mind provides a more intuitive way to create your ideal character. Now, I want to introduce the Trickster, a new vocation that's sure to bring something unique to your gameplay experience. Exclusive to the Arisen, the Trickster is a vocation that wields the sensor and uses the smoke it produces to conjure illusions. By confusing the enemy into fighting themselves through illusions, or increasing the power of pawns beyond the normal parameters for a limited period of time, this vocation focuses on support and use of unique strategies. The Trickster is a devious vocation that takes advantage of the enemy's enhanced behavior AI. 
It's a great fit for players who prefer to step back from the action and manipulate the battle from the sidelines. Next, we have a few additional details to share. Pre-orders for Dragon's Dogma 2 on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Steam start today. In addition to the standard edition, a deluxe edition will also be available. The deluxe edition includes additional items such as a special camping kit, along with other items that will help you prepare for your journey. Pre-orders of the standard edition will include bonus weapons for each of the four vocations available from the start of the game. And pre-ordering the Deluxe Edition will give you access to all the bonuses of the Standard Edition, plus access to additional accessories that can be equipped in-game. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering. So, what did you think? The development team is currently making final adjustments to Dragon's Dogma 2. We're all doing our best and hope you can wait a little longer until the release of the game. Before we go, let us show you some footage of the monsters we couldn't cover today. The Drake and the Dullahan, along with the Warrior and Sorcerer vocations, which were also in the first game. Thank you so much.